Hey, what's going on guys? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Google Posts, Google Reviews, and Google Products for a Google Maps massive hack. Watch this. This video is dedicated to Darren Marion. I love you, brother. Okay guys, so I'm really excited about this lesson because I'm gonna show you three ways to massively increase your Google rankings. Let's get right to it. So if you type in your keyword, in this example I'm using residential electrician. You could type in your keyword if it's a residential plumber or if it's a lawn installer, garage installer, whatever your keyword is. If you scroll down, you're gonna to come to the Google three pack located right here. Now, if you type on the bot, if you click on the bottom, uh, more businesses, it'd be a good idea if you want to see uh, rankings increase if you were already on the first page for this keyword. You don't have to be in the first three rankings, but if on the, you're on the first page. Okay, so I'm going to say, let's say I was five-star emergency electricians. These are three things that I would do to increase rankings within the next 24 hours. All right, guys, so number one, what I would do is I would get three to five reviews this week using the keyword residential electrician. So what you'll need to do is log into business.google.com. That's your Google Business Profile Manager dashboard. It used to be called um, Google My Business. Just click the home link, which is on the left-hand side. In fact, when you log in, that's the page you'll see. And you see where it says get more reviews? It says share review form right there. All you do is click that and then copy it. And just open your notepad and just paste it in your notepad. This is your review link that you're going to send to three to five friends this week. Okay, now you're going to ask them for a review. They don't know what to write. They're going to say Ted is a nice guy. You know, he, he helped. He, he's an electrician or something. They're going to write something wacky. So we want to use the words residential electrician. We know we want that one. So I'm going to write that down. Right, so we're gonna write the word residential electrician. And now we need other keywords that we want that, um, that are important. So naturally, the city or the town that you live in. So I, I live in Tampa, Florida, so I would say Tampa or residential. I used to live in Staten Island. I would say Staten Island residential electrician, right? So whatever, whatever town you're located in, you, you, city or town. So you want them to you want them to name, put in the review, the city or the town, and you want them to say residential, residential electrician. But what else would you like them to say? Well, if we type in residential electrician into Google, we're going to look for all the words that are in bold, because they appear to be important to Google under that term. So uh, apparently elec electrical, right? In the review, we have uh, residential or commercial. So we're gonna put the word commercial. Uh, let's go a little bit more. Let's see, electrician, residential electricians. Okay, home electricians, see that? So we're going to get a bunch of keywords, all the bold keywords, we're just going to put in a notepad. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this link right here and we're going to email it or text it to one of our customers who are also our friends, right? Our customers are our friends because we consider our customers family and friends. And we're going to say, Hey, Tommy, um, can you do me a favor and just leave me a Google five-star review? Here's the link, 
And can you use some of these words in the review? So you got to give people like a little template. So they don't have to use all of them, but can you make sure you use city and town, residential electrician, and a couple of other these, of these terms which you'd have left for them. And if you email or, 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 or text it over to seven or eight people, maybe three or four people could help you out with that. In fact, if you, uh, if you get in touch with me, if you text me, uh, here's my, my, um, my cell phone. If you text me, I'll give you a five-star review. So just, just set, text me the link and tell me a couple of keywords to use and I'll give you a five-star review. How's that? Okay, so that's the first thing is you want to get three to five uh, reviews this week. Very important. All right, guys. So the next thing, step two, is you want to create three to five Google posts this week, right? So we're trying to rank for residential electrician. You just come over here to posts. On the right hand corner, you see this round circle, and this is where you'll create your post. This is a post we've already created for one of our clients, and the keyword we were trying to um, increase was Knoxville, Tennessee electrician. So, whatever your keyword is, a chiropractor in Alabama, or you know, whatever your keyword is, you want to make sure you use that picture, that uh, text over the picture. You want to use your logo as well. Then, you want to use the keyword as the title of the story that you're going to write in the post. Then you write something about, you know, being a residential electrician or a Knoxville electrician. I like to include, include the NAP with the, um, with the uh, website address as well as a few citations and so on and so forth. Now, I want to just give you a little trick regarding the picture. You'll notice that we used the picture for Knoxville, Tennessee electrician. We used somebody uh, 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 fixing an elect electrical panel. So if you type in, no matter what keyword you're using, let's, let's do this. Let's just change it a little bit. DUI lawyer. Right. And then we come over to images. You need to use one of these images. You'll notice that uh, two of the images have a book that says DUI law on it. If let's say residential. residential electrician, you'll notice that it appears to be most of the pictures somebody's uh, working with a panel. So that's the type of picture that you want to use in your post. Check your keyword, then come over to Google and, and click images and see what image Google um, refers to for that, for that, uh, for that keyword. So if it's residential electrician or DUI lawyer or whatever your keyword is, click images to see what image to use. Don't just pick a picture of a bunny rabbit because you think it's cute. All right, guys. So the last one, step three is products. I want you to come over to the Google Business Profile Manager. I want you to scroll down to where it says products. And I want you to add all your products. Now, if you don't have products, like, like, like the electrician that I work with here, it's services. It should say products and services. So I want you to make sure that you have, for example, residential electrician. And I want you to see the way that we do it. We don't only add the picture. We add the appropriate picture. We add the keyword over the picture as well as the logo. Okay, that's really important. See that? 
with a little description. Okay? Very important. You may say, well, I don't really want to do that. I'm going to show you why it's important. This is how we wrap it up. This is how we bring it home. If you scroll down in uh, the Google Maps listing, you're going to notice next to each uh, bolded word, there's either a check mark, uh, a, a, an image, an outline of a person, or an exclamation point. Now, the check mark means that that person inside their Google business profile has exactly what I'm talking about, has an image, has a section, one of the products, better, better yet, one of the products says residential electrician. That's why they have the check mark here. You see that? Then if we scroll down, okay, now that's the, the person, right? So that is a review. And in the review, I'm sure they refer to residential electrician or home electrician that Google was able to, you know, put the, the review together, meaning that it meant residential. All right. So there's the review. And the last one is a Google post. And that's an exclamation point. I don't know if one is here. But if I if I keep going you'll see an exclamation point. And in the exclamation point, that's a Google post. So we, I don't see one here, but you get the idea, right? You get the idea. So you want to make sure you do all three. You want to do a Google post. You want to do three to five Google posts one, one week. You want to get three to five reviews. Definitely side more towards five if you can. And you want to add a product, even if you only offer services under products, add, add all your services that you, that you offer. You see that? See how beautiful that is? All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I, I really believe that if you uh, employ these three steps, it's going to help you in your rankings. It's something that we do over here at Mindsaw. If there's something that I could do to help you, please feel free. Here's my text. Feel free to text me anytime if you have a question, if you'd like uh, to work with me, or if you need uh, an hour of consulting. Remember to be good to your family. Kiss your wife, kiss your kids. Uh, clean up around the house, and we'll catch you tomorrow.